Put Aries in the sun, moon, or ascendant position if you would like your character to come off as energetic, driven, or impulsive. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk all about Aries characters. Yes, Aries, it is your turn. Now, if you didn't watch my previous astrology video, then I'm going to link it up in the card. I do recommend you watch that because that's going to give you all of the information you need to understand the context of what we're talking about in this particular video. And don't forget, of course, to let me know all about your Aries characters down in the comments below. Aries is represented with the Ram, and it is part of the fire elemental signs as well as being a cardinal sign. Fire signs are typically known for their strength and their energy. Cardinal signs desire a deep focus in their lives, and they represent the energy of new beginnings. Those new beginnings come at the beginning of every season. Aries falls at the beginning of spring. The sun is in Aries typically from March 21st to April 19th. Being the cardinal fire sign, Aries is seen as both bright and energetic. Think of Aries as the wide-eyed new energy at the beginning of spring. This can cause Aries to sometimes come across as childish or too aggressive, but of course you can balance this out with softer signs in other placements in a character. Aries' ruling planet is Mars, and remember, Mars represents what motivates you, so Aries are great at any competition. The key word for Aries is confidence. Put Aries in the sun, moon, or ascendant position if you would like your character to come off as energetic, driven, or impulsive. Remember, what sign the sun is in at the time of someone's birth is someone's central instincts, what drives them, and their sense of self. But, of course, any planet can be in a particular sign, so let's discuss all of those other placements. And just like we did, of course, in all of the other Zodiac videos so far, I'm going to be referencing during each placement a character I think that could be interpreted as having that particular placement. This will give you a reference point for what I'm talking about. Aries rising tends to be, shall we say, direct. Remember, of course, for rising, this is what you project out onto the world, so apply those things we just learned about Aries to that. Aries rising people tend to go after what they want immediately, regardless of the consequences. This can come off as charmingly youthful or outright aggressive. Sometimes Aries rising people can be quite competitive, but unlike some other Aries placements, they're competitive more with themselves than with others. Aries rising loves to start new projects and try to bring others along into those projects. However, because they're all about new beginnings, those projects rarely get finished. The moon in Aries shows someone that is often impulsive or even impatient. This placement shows up in people that live moment to moment, almost as if life is a series of emergencies. Like other Aries placements, that confidence shows up as well, but instead it's in the realm of emotions. Emotional issues take the forefront in this placement and have to be dealt with before anything else when a problem arises. Since the moon is someone's inner world, having the moon in Aries can make someone come off as more concerned with the short term than their peers are. Their confidence and independence along with living moment to moment can basically make them seem only concerned with what's happening today and not concerned at all with tomorrow, and so they don't really think too much about their future. Next, let's get into those personal planets. Of course, we're going to see all the same themes here. We're just going to apply them to the realm of that particular planet. Mercury in Aries colors someone's communication style as confident. Since Aries is all about being in the moment, these people communicate very directly. They typically don't take time to mull things over and sometimes might even speak before they think at all. Because of their new spring nature, their communication style can also sometimes have a charming innocence and combined with that direct nature, sometimes Mercury in Aries is crude. Venus in Aries colors someone's love and desires as confident. People with this placement appreciate activity and adventure in a relationship. They thoroughly enjoy the conquest of dating, and that means it's important to keep things new and fresh and exciting. Their style of expressing love can sometimes come across as a little me, 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 and what that means is they'll typically try to win over a new partner with how innovative and enterprising they are. They will instinctively take the lead in relationships and sometimes go so far as to even not consider the other person's mood or emotions. Mars is Aries' ruling planet, so this is where it's best expressed. Mars is the planet of action. 
So having Mars in Aries means everything happens fast and right now. For this placement, life being too predictable can even make them quite nervous. Mars in Aries never lives in the past. They don't leave time to reflect on past experiences that they've had, and they also don't spend much time deliberating about the future. They are naturally spontaneous and innovative, and are always a step ahead of the competition. Mars in Aries knows what they want, and they go for it. Consequences be damned. Jupiter in Aries believes in the value of positivity. Life is what you make it. They value instant results and have the most good fortune when they're initiating new projects, acting with confidence, and acting on those impulses. They value instant results and have the most good fortune when they take charge of their surroundings or they're starting new projects or they're displaying that confidence. Saturn in Aries shows a lot of Aries traits in what they fear. In situations where they should take charge, they often feel uncomfortable doing so even if they know they should. They'll also often feel like scrapping a project and starting fresh is the best way to accomplish their goals. Saturn in Aries needs to take time to build up confidence and also allow themselves to be wimpy sometimes. And those are all of our personal planets. Let's move now to our outer planets and remember those are more generational than individual. Uranus in Aries is a time for innovation and new beginnings. This placement is not concerned with what past generations did. They are only concerned with building new things for their generation. Value comes from working by inspiration and knowledge gained via flashes of intuition. The last time Uranus was in Aries was from March 2011 to March 2019. Neptune in Aries is an interesting placement. The hard, practical fire energy of Aries doesn't really match the cool sensitivity of Neptune. This combination makes for a potentially disruptive and upsetting period of history, because Aries is so focused on forging ahead to greener pastures, it may scorch the past to get there. The last time Neptune was in Aries was from 1861 to 1875, and it's going to be there again in 2025. Pluto in Aries signifies optimism in public opinion. With this placement, people tend to take decisive action for the change that they want to see in the wider society. The last time Pluto was in Aries was from 1812 to 1853. So that's how all of the planets behave when they are in Aries, and as always, I barely touched on this. If any of this inspired you, I strongly recommend further reading, and I have linked to my favorite astrology websites down in the description. So do any of you have Aries characters? I would love to hear about them. Please let me know about them down below. And as always, of course, make it a great day.